Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a healer and you want to DPS or just want to switch to a different role because healing doesn't feel rewarding, but you don't know what class or spec to play, I got you covered. In this video, I'm going to be presenting my top choices for DPS if you come from a healing background with their pros and cons. Before we go into the top 3, I'm briefly going to mention Evoker here as it has two options to DPS and both of them are quite viable. If you choose to play Devastation, it's a very fun gameplay style with strong AoE, decent single target, but there's an area where you have two or three targets and it's kind of weird to play it in this situation. If you choose Augmentation, that's obviously one of the strongest specs in the game right now, but there are a couple of problems there. First. Whether or not you're gonna time a key is dependent on the other DPS in your group because you're buffing them if they're not that good, you know what's gonna happen. The second problem that I have with this class is that the gameplay is a little bit boring because you're not moving health bars, you're not doing a lot of damage, you're not seeing big numbers. Definitely not my cup of tea, but if you like this kind of gameplay style you should definitely consider it. Now let's get into the actual top 3. As you probably know, I'm a big Enhancement Shaman fan, but I'm not going to put it into the top position. The gameplay style is amazing, you generate Maelstrom to your melee abilities and then you spend it on hard hitting AoE or single target spells that are actually ranged. You have very short cooldowns, which makes it so that you're doing consistent damage throughout the dungeon and the single target is quite strong even in AoE spec. They're quite viable builds for rate as well. And generally you have the option to choosing between Elementalist and Storm builds, which present you with different playstyles. One of them is usually superior, so you have to lean on that. And let's put into the pros that you can always switch to Elemental Shaman if uh, for some reason you want to play ranged or enhancement is not that good. And if all of that sounds fine to you, then why would I put it down in position number 3? Well, there are a few reasons. First, right now Enhancement Shaman kind of got nerfed with the Shaman rework. The Wind Fury, which was unique to that spec, is now called Sky Fury and its raid wide buff, which is also available to Restoration and Elemental Shamans. At the same time, all the shuffling of talents into the class tree kinda hurt enhancement because the changes were good for the other classes, but some of the talents got moved into the spec tree, which made the pathing there even harder than before. That leads to some problems into making good builds for the War Within, no matter which hero talents you choose. And we should also mention that there is a huge difference between the Storm and the Elementalist build in within the class. I would argue that the Elementalist is probably one of the hardest specs to play in the game and it feels very rewarding if you do it correctly, but it's also a very steep learning curve, which could be a deal breaker if you're just starting out. It's worth mentioning though that right now it seems that the Storm build is going to be superior with the Stormbringer hero talents which should be relatively easier to play and it also brings something else to the table, a little bit of uncapped AoE, which is something that Enhancement Shaman doesn't have. So long story short, there are some minor issues that hopefully are going to get resolved, but if you pick Enhancement Shaman you're going to have a lot of fun with a lot of different options and once you master it, it feels really nice to play. You guys haven't seen me play Shadow Priest, but this is one of the things that I've been doing in this season 4, which is as dead as a season could be. And I must say, I'm having a lot of fun. The gameplay is actually quite nice, I remember this from back in the day where you had to put dots on everyone and that felt really annoying, but right now you have something that's called Shadow Crash, you just point it at the ground and it puts dots on 8 targets in within the circle which allows you to start casting your other spells which now cleave and do extra damage to targets that already have dots on them. Your spells generate insanity which you can then spend to do even more damage and put more dots on targets. And you have few cooldowns that help you do even more damage like void form and of course power infusion. You really shine in big pools where you can do a lot of AoE damage, the single targets could be a little bit sketchy. So I would definitely prefer to play this in Mythic Plus Dungeons instead of a raid. Overall it's very nice and easy going caster spec to play. And both hero talents options Voidweaver and Archon provide some very interesting enhancements to your gameplay and have stunning visuals. 
So I'm definitely recommending you to try it out, especially if you don't like being in melee and you like to do damage from range. The number one spot for me goes to Retribution Paladin. It's not a melee spec, but it's not overly complicated to learn, in fact it's quite easy going, and the gameplay is quite engaging as well. You generate holy power to then spend it on different AoE or single target abilities, with several very short cooldowns that help you out, including wings, which is a lot of fun to play with. You have different builds that you use in Mythic Plus and Raids, with different skills like Execution Sentence and Final Reckoning, which present you with different playstyles that are quite dynamic and engaging. Of course, being a Paladin, you bring so much utility to the table, but on top of that, you're also very tanky because you have several different defensive cooldowns to rotate, not to mention full immunity. Let's also mention that you can not only change your spec to healing, but you can also play as a tank, and the hero talents are probably going to fill in the gap left behind from losing the legendary weapon, as Herald of the Sun in particular seems to be performing really nice on top of having very nice visuals. So those are my top choices to play as DPS if you're someone who plays mainly as a healer. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree and what would be your top choices going into the war within. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. Now get out of here.